Hey guys, what's up? Lightbill Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the 2014 comedy film, The Other Woman. I said we were going to talk about this in the last review when we were talking about The Layover starring Kate Upton and Alexander Daddario and Matt Barr. And I was like, man, I really wish this was like The Layover because that's what the, the trailer was showing. Uh, I really wish this was like The Other Woman because that's what the trailer of The Layover made it seem like. But it was not. And so I craved watching The Other Woman because it's one of the funniest comedies from six years ago. Not many people have seen it, and I don't know why, but it's perfect, so we're going to talk about it. I got the cast list to my right, your left, I'm going to read down it, and we're going to talk about how awesome it is. Starring Cameron Diaz, Leslie Mann, Nicolaj Coster Waldo, I can never pronounce his name properly, Nick, I apologize, uh, Don Johnson, Kate Upton, Taylor Kinney, Nicki Minaj, and many, many more people, right? Okay, so, Leslie Mann... And Nicolaj's characters, right? Uh, Kate and Mark are husband and wife. They live in Connecticut. He is, he works at this big firm. They like make, you know, new tech companies, stuff like that in New York City. Kate is, uh, she quit her job. She's the stay at home Stepford, you know, in Connecticut, making sure her hus the, the mansion is well taken care of, things like that. Cameron Diaz's character is an attorney in New York City who is dating Mark, but does not know that Mark is married. So she meets Kate at her house at one point, um, hoping for a booty call, but doesn't act that way. So then Kate um, and Carly wind up, you know, becoming inadvertent friends for that matter, trying to figure out, you know, what to do with the Mark situation. And then it turns out that Amber, Kate Hudson's character, is the third mistress, is the second mistress in all of this, that she's the 22 year old with the big boobs and, and drives the Jetta. Um, Taylor Kinney plays Kate's brother in, in this. He owns a house in the Hamptons. So there's a lot of mansion in Connecticut, office buildings in New York, mansion in, uh, you know, House Beach in, in the Hamptons, go to the Bahamas to, you know, drain an account, things like that, catch Nick's character and all these different lives and finding out that Kate is actually the CEO of all these companies as the fall guy um, because Mark is stealing all this money from things. So it's just an ingenious means of uh, becoming friends with your enemies, literally friends with your enemies, and then getting a lifelong friendship out of it as well. At the end, you know, Kate has is working with Nick's uh, partner, who's in the movie, his name is Nick, creating the multi-million dollar companies, you know, and, and is the CEO of said multi-million dollar companies. Congratulations to her fictional character but congratulations to her and when you have uh her brother and Cameron Diaz's character getting together and living in the Hamptons and Amber winds up taking Cameron Diaz's dad in the film it's just so perfect perfect how I, I like how there's like a post it's not a post credit but it's a post story um a finale it just literally shows like where the characters are going and stuff like that and and Nick is, not Nick, uh, Mark is left bleeding on the sidewalk after being punched by, you know, Carly's dad. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty poetic justice, let's put it that way. I really love this movie. The whole fecal incident of, uh, having massive diarrhea in a, in a bathroom, um, Mark having massive diarrhea in a bathroom and getting hipster pants, hysterical. Having Leslie Mann feed him a bunch of, uh, estrogen in his shakes and saying he has sensitive nipples. <laughs> it's just this is so funny. The dog shitting in uh, Carly's apartment. Perfect. Um, so many of the, the Bahama moments were great. The the Hamptons moments were great. There's not one moment of this movie that I don't like. And the part I think I love the most is when Leslie's man, when Leslie Mann's character, and she is a hysterical woman that she is, incredible artist. When she comes to terms with everything and like she's ready to accept what's going on she throws the ring into the ocean and you have Leslie Mann and Cameron Diaz Kate Upton all sitting on the shore just watching out you know watching the sunrise kind of a thing and now this movie came out before Grace and Frankie came out on Netflix Grace and Frankie is a fantastic television series I don't think we've discussed it have we discussed it I really don't remember to be honest I feel like I mentioned it plenty of times obsessed with that show Jane Fonda is in it. Uh, Ethan Embry is in it. Is Kate Upton in it? No, Kate Upton's not in it. Oh my God, I'm 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 forgetting. Who? 
I, I feel like an idiot. I cannot remember the other main actress's name. She's done everything. She 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 was in the big name to fames was with uh, Dolly Parton and Jane Fonda and someone. It's gonna drive me nuts. I see her face. You know what? We're just gonna look this up in real time because this is gonna piss me off. It's gonna piss me off royally that I cannot figure out who that. As I'm doing, as I'm looking this up, the point of my story is that scene where the three of them in this movie that we're discussing um, is staring out into the shore watching the sunrise reminded me a lot of Grace and Frankie moments. Or in return, Grace and Frankie reminded me a lot of the other woman moment. Now, there's a lot of end episodes kind of a thing where Grace and Frankie are both sitting and watching, you know, the shoreline. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's fun seeing when certain things remind you of other things, if that makes any sense, whether they intend to or not. Okay, 9 to 5. 1980 comedy. We have not reviewed it. Lily Tomlin. Oh, my God. I feel like an absolute idiot. Could not remember Lily Tomlin's name. Idiot. I am an idiot. Lily Tomlin, I apologize for forgetting your name. You are an incredible, incredible artist. I apologize. <laughs> Very interesting how we went from this one movie to discussing a, an artist who's not even a part of it. But it's how this works. We know how this works. I ramble with one train of thought and it takes us in just one, one direction but there's so many different cars on this train and they all intertwine together. Just like in Snowpier Snowpiercer. It's one train. All right, I think I got a good ramble going on. Have you guys seen The Other Woman? Do you love it as much as I do? Do you laugh your ass off when Cameron Diaz gets shoved out a window by Leslie Mann in her wedding dress? <laughs> and she's chugging whipped cream. So many funny moments in this movie and not enough people talk about it. And you, you people need to talk about it because it's great. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Mucha mahalo. <laughs>